Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. That's right y'all, we're hopping into the time machine and going back to 1.12.2. We're going to be playing this Expert Mod Pack. Now, over time this is actually going to be taking place of all the mods 9. Unfortunately, it looks like our spawn was two islands. So I think we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure here and try and find somewhere to set up shop for right now at least doesn't have to be a main base quite yet well i found this little island and there's some cows on it but unfortunately it does have another inhabitant there's a skeleton here where was it i know i saw it there's a skeleton right there so i'm gonna try and avoid that guy we're gonna come over here i was able to get some uh, flint from all this gravel here and i'm gonna set up my tinker stuff and try and get some tools going All right, now that we got some tools there, we can actually jump into action against this skeleton, hopefully, and try not to die to this guy. I think the skeleton must have died in the daylight, so that works out pretty good for us. Came back over to the main island because it's getting nighttime and I remembered seeing some sheep over here. So now that we've got a sword, I'm going to go ahead and try and get a little bit of wool. But let me show you all these mobs that are here, bro. There are so many mobs and they are geared up, dog. Look, this guy's got on like diamond armor. What is this? I'm getting out of here. I do not want to be around that. All right, now I need to get some coal to be able to actually make this thing. So I guess I'm going on my first mining adventure. Oh man, finally got some coal. Now we can make a few furnaces. I went ahead and got a bunch of cobblestone so that we're able to make four of these bad boys because we're going to be needing them. So after getting a little bit of food, I decided to venture out, and try and find a little location to build us a base. Uh, I think I finally might have found us somewhere. And it looks like we've got a big astral sorcery temple up there. So maybe we'll be able to find some astral stuff early on. That would be awesome to kind of get a head start on our constellations. Yep, I think I like this area. So as the sun sets, I think we're going to go ahead and dig us a little starter hole right in here. I just want y'all to look at this recipe for the chests. You have to make wooden tough rods from tinkers. Then you have to use logs and buttons to be able to make chests. It took forever just to get two chests. This is going to be a long mod pack. Well, I went out and collected a whole bunch of sand, clay, and gravel. And we're going to get ourselves a smeltery going because that's kind of our next step in the progression is to go ahead and get the smeltery cooked up. And how am I out of gravel? Oh, there we go. I was like, geez, I thought I had a bunch of gravel. There we go. So I'm going to need a ton of grout. And let's go ahead and split that stack just like that. And we're going to have to smelt it on up. So I'm going to throw this in the furnaces and start playing the waiting game. And just like that, we've got a two high three by three smeltery. But we don't have any lava to put into it yet. So we're going to have to find some lava. And it looks like on the map, there might be some nearby. If I do the follow, how do I do the follow? Let's see, there's some right there. So I'm going to head over there. I made myself a couple of clay buckets. That's what got me that quest a second ago. Aha! Uh -huh. I had to kind of mine to the sound of it because it was actually buried. It was showing up on the map because I was in the base. But what I can do is place down this tank right here and I can use these clay buckets to go ahead and throw some lava in there. But you'll notice that I don't get to keep them. So I'm going to have to keep coming back with some more clay buckets if I want to get some more lava. I melted up some clay and just a little bit of copper. I'm going to use this clay to go ahead and make myself a cast right here on my pickaxe head. And once that dries, we'll be able to get ourselves a copper pickaxe head, which is going to get us to the next tier. Well, the next tier requires Certus Quartz, and I'm having trouble finding any of that on the surface. So I think I'm going down into the mines. And there we go. Got some Certus Quartz. And a quick nap. And there's our Certus Quartz pickaxe head. And now we can mine ourselves some iron. And there's an iron pickaxe. Nice. And back in the mine to try and get myself some aluminum because I want to get some aluminum brass so that we can make plates or sorry, casts that won't break on us. Nice. By following the zombie sounds down here, I was able to find myself a cave. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing some mining. 
Well, I found a ton of diamonds right in here, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of this lapis that I've got. Throw some fortune on my pickaxe because I want to be able to get as much of these diamonds as I can get. So we're going to go ahead and throw a look two on there. And I'll go ahead and repair it while I've got my tool thing right here. I'm glad I brought this with me because now hopefully we can get some more diamonds out of this. And yeah, we got five just out of those two right there. It would appear that there is some kind of spawner right there. And I'm trying to think of how we can get in there to subdue that without dying. Because this creeper is right here. And that was not a good sound that it just made. I don't know what that thing is, but it's terrifying me. And it just spawned a bunch of zombies, it looks like. And spiders! Cave spiders! Cave spiders, we're gonna get out of here. Now, after some mining, I can upgrade my pickaxe to lead and use that to get a little bit of osmium. And I think you know where that osmium's going. That's right, an osmium pickaxe. With that osmium pickaxe, a bit of obsidian. Now, I could go ahead and upgrade to an obsidian pickaxe head, and we will have to at some point, but it's not very good on durability, so I think I'm going to stick with the osmium one for right now. And we can actually boost that speed with a little bit of redstone. Let me make some redstone blocks here, and we'll be able to boost that speed to match the obsidian just about. There we go. I can throw that in there, and that will go ahead and get me a trait for haste. And I think I have room for two of those, so there we go. I think that's all I've got. Yep. So this guy's got a mining speed now of 18.38. Not too bad. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go out at night because I need to get some bone meal and I also need a little bit of string. So uh, I'm a bit scared. I think I might upgrade my pickaxe. I mean, sorry, not my pickaxe, my sword before we go. I went ahead and made some casts here. So I think I'm going to make this bad boy an osmium sword because I believe osmium does a good bit of damage. All right. Wish me luck, y'all. Oh, nice. A zombie just dropped some steel leaf leggings. I'll take those for sure. And dead. Got me in it, bro. Holy crap. I just got a flux infused chest plate. Obviously, we don't have any power to power the bad boy, but nice to have. All right. Come up here. Get away from my base now. I don't want you blowing my door up. Yeah. That's a compressed creeper. That's a compressed creeper. I'm getting away from that. Holy crap. That's a compressed creeper. So if I kill that thing, it spawns nine more creepers. Worst possible outcome. I might die. Thankfully our bed's right there. And there's the first one. Well, time to go and get our stuff. Maybe. These mobs are ruthless. I did forget to get myself some string during the night last night, but I got myself a crook right here and we're gonna go with the ex nihilo method. I'm going to use that crook on some trees right here. And then I'm going to plant this silkworm in all of these leaves here, just like this. And that's going to start to spread. And once that gets to 100%, all these leaves will drop us some string. Now I can get myself an engineer's hammer. Well, I went ahead and cozied up the place a little bit. And I made everything we need for some coke bricks. I believe this is as many as we're going to need for this bad boy. That'll get us a quest. I'm going to place these down just like this. It's a three by three by three as far as I recall. Do like that. And then we're going to smack it with the engineer's hammer. And there's our very first Coke oven. Well, I'll go ahead and throw a stack of coal in there and get that guy running. Just a little tip. Check the quest book before you make stuff. I got an engineer's hammer from the first quest. Well, you may notice some changes from the last clip. First off, the most glaring is that we've got shaders and Optifine now. So that's pretty nice looking. Also, the server or the world is now on a server so that the world can run in the background. We've got a nether portal now, which we're about to be put into use because we're going to have to go and get some blaze rods. I was looking and it looks like the next thing that we're going to have to get into is getting a blast furnace going, which is going to require some blast bricks. Let's see here. So the blast bricks, this is what we're going to need. We're going to need blaze powder and we're going to need nether bricks. So I want to upgrade my armor before we even try and do any of that. I got some iron plates from a quest. I know I said I was going to save the quest, but I wanted to get these iron plates here. So I went ahead and claimed that one from the coke oven. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some iron armor, which I believe we can just go and upgrade all of our leather armor up to iron, just like this. I'm going to be honest, I'm not thrilled about being in the nether. I'm a little scared, but we did get a pretty good spawn. Our portal literally went right into a fortress. And I saw a blaze right over here. Where did that joker go? There it is. Let's see if we can take this guy. Come on. Alright. Of 
course they didn't want to drop me a blaze rod. It's too easy to get one right out the rip. All this flesh makes weird squishy noises. I don't like it. It's making me uncomfortable. All right, I'm not going to lie, y'all. It's uh, not looking good. There's a blade spawner right over there, though. So if I can try and get to that safely, maybe we'll be able to make something happen. But Jesus, I feel like I'm just surrounded by mobs. Holy crap, dude. If it weren't for that one right over there, I would kind of ambush the, the blaze spawner. But this one right here is really getting in the way. And Jesus, their range is insane. I went ahead and made myself this item called a squeezer. Super easy recipe, and what that allows me to do, place blazer rods in there, place a button down next to it, and I can actually jump on this thing if I have enough room to jump, and that will squish my blazer rods into four blaze powder instead of the regular two, and then I press the button to reset it. And after some crafting, we can go ahead and get ourselves 27 blast bricks, which I think is enough to make ourselves a blast furnace. And with a 3x3x3, just like our coke oven, there's our very first blast furnace. So I don't have a whole lot of iron, but I'm gonna just try and make like half a stack of steel. I have to go mining here soon. And I'm gonna throw some cold coke. Where did I put my cold coke? There it is. I'm gonna throw some cold coke over in there, just like that. And that will start making me some of that sweet, sweet steel that we're looking for. Well, I got 24 steel and there's a little bit more cooking, but I think it's time to go ahead and explore the rest of this cave and try and get some more resources. That wasn't a terrible mining trip. I got well over a stack of iron, uh, pretty close to two stacks, and a bunch of other resources that we're going to be using, but I'm going to turn most of this iron probably into steel, probably at least another half a stack. But we're going to be needing a lot of coal coke, so I'm going to go ahead and turn another stack of coke into that because it seems to burn through that pretty quick. Let's put some of this creosote that we've got to use. I'm going to make some treated planks here. I think I've got enough to make a stack there. And then I'm going to throw my portable tank back in here. That way that can continue to collect creosote. And we're going to need a lot of this treated wood. But I want to go ahead and start putting that to use a little bit. Which we can do by making me an immersive engineering engineer's workbench. This is going to be our place for crafting all throughout immersive engineering. I'm thinking it's time to go ahead and upgrade our tool station to a tool forge here. Because I would like to get a hammer. But it's not going to be just any old hammer. We're going to go for a manulin hammer, so I'm going to need some cobalt and to not die. I'm not going to lie. I almost died again trying to get my stuff back. But I think we can go ahead and delete the death waypoint. Anyways, I'm also going to need a bit of ardite because we're going to mix that with our cobalt try and get us some manulin going. The pigmen don't like when you mine their ores. Pigmen don't like when you mine their ores. And I'm out of food. I'm out of food. And there's a gas somewhere that's gonna try and shoot me down. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We're going down again. Was I think we're going down again. MLG. This is my food farm now. Oh. I tell you what, it feels nice to be back at the base. That was quite the adventure to the nether. I did get a lot of good stuff though. I got way more cobalt than I was able to get Ardite. I don't know why that is, but we're going to go ahead and throw all of that now into my smeltery here. And of course, it's not big enough for all of that, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and get that smelted up and turn that into some manulin. So I think I'm actually going to go with a cobalt hammerhead because the mining speed is better and the durability is not too much different. We have enough cobalt to go ahead and do that. And then I think we'll turn the manulin into a cleaver because that'll give us some good damage. Now, I didn't realize it before, but I forgot about these sharpening kits. I can use that actually to upgrade my pickaxe to obsidian instead of using the obsidian tool head, which is what I did earlier to be able to go out and get the uh, cobalt and whatnot. That also gets me up to my quests now. So I got harvest level from getting a cobalt, and then I've got manulin up here, which we'll have to get 
a sharpening kit. So we'll probably end up putting that on our pickaxe as well. So that's probably not the best. I don't really know all that much about like optimizing your tinkers tools. So if y'all have any kind of advice on this, help me out. But I've got a bone tough rod, copper large plate, iron large plate, and cobalt hammerhead. And I think we're going to go with that. So how many modifiers are we looking at? We've got two modifiers. Decent durability, but not really that great. So I'm thinking we'll probably go ahead and throw a diamond on there. Do I want to do an emerald? Emerald might be better. Oh, an emerald's definitely better. I would love to have a little bit of haste on this thing. And there we go. There's our redstone. And now we've got us a nice little hammer, which I'm going to use for getting us a little bit nicer of a base going because... It's pretty cramped in here. I think the new area turned out pretty nice. It still needs a little bit work on the ceiling, but I think it's looking pretty cool. I did kind of steal some ideas from Cool Cat, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I like this idea of using the crack to kind of add some flair to the walls, but we're gonna set up this small plate presser down here. I'm gonna place that like that with an obsidian right there, and we'll be able to use that to press some copper, which we're gonna need. So I think all I do is take a block of copper Throw that in there, and nothing. Maybe I have to place it? Ah, there we go. So you place it down, press the button, and it'll do the thing. And the button's gonna break every time because I'm kind of stupid and didn't think to just put a button right there instead. I don't know why I just did that four times without putting the button there. Anyways, we're gonna need to make some wires, I think. Yeah, copper wires. I'm going to need a lot of those. So I made a big room right here and we're going to set up a kinetic dynamo with three water wheels here. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to have to power this with some water. Now, if you played with the create mod, you may have kind of an idea of what we're working on here. But basically, I'm going to have to kind of block off this area here. And my goal is to get the water to flow that way. And I'm not exactly sure how I do that, so I'm going to have to kind of play with this. All right, well, it took a minute, but I was able to get it figured out. They are now all spinning, and we can access our uh, dynamo back here. Get rid of all this freaking gravel. Oh my god, this gravel has been so annoying this entire time. Our dynamo should be right there, and we'll be able to pull some power from that guy, hopefully. And now I believe I can take an LV wire connector off the back of this and send it on over to a capacitor right here, and that guy should start charging up. Aha, I figured it out. It has to be connected from the top. So I connected it to the top of that, LV wire relay right there, and then a connector on top, and now our capacitor is charging up. Now, obviously we're not gonna just have this capacitor sit here and charge. We need some machines to actually use it, but I think we're gonna save that for next episode, guys. But before we head out, we're going to get spooked by whatever that was. And then we're going to go ahead and claim all of our quests for the day. I accidentally claimed the Thumbcraft one that I got already, but we have a lot of quests here that we can go ahead and claim. We're going to get a bunch of loot chests from them. So I'm going to keep all the loot chests in my inventory and then we're going to go through and just spam them. So we got a bunch from getting started. I had to go through and reset my quests. I got weird, so I'm going to actually throw out this leather armor and whatever. And this tanned leather. I'll, I'll toss all of that because we're not technically supposed to have it. But other than that, everything else was unclaimed. So we're going to go ahead and claim all again. Which, oh, this one makes you actually pick something. Um, I'm not really too worried about what I get from it. Uh, Night Slime or Alumite. I think Alumite is the best out of that. Oh no, Night Slime is definitely the best there, so we'll grab that. Over here, I think I'll take the glass, actually. Surprisingly, I want to take the glass. Oh, we got a Copper Hammer with Unbreaking One, or a bunch of torches. I'm thinking I'll take all the torches. We've already got a good hammer. Oh, we can get a Broad Axe Head, we can get Evil Infused, we can get Sponge, or we can get Firewood. And honestly, Sponge looks like it might be the move. 
Either that or this evil infused. This evil infused actually looks pretty good. That's got a really high mining speed already. So we're going to go with that. And then we can come over here and we'll get a bunch of bronze. I'm going to take the bronze from that one actually. And we got Prudentium or Emerald. And it looks like Prudentium has better mining speed, but Emerald has better durability. So we'll go with Emerald for that one. And there we go. That should be all of our quests fully completed. I'll put everything in here and then we'll go ahead and claim these loot bags that we've got. And I'm hoping that we will be able no loot set up. What? Oh, that must be from whatever was causing the server to act up. There's no loot set up for some reason. Well, it looks like I've got some troubleshooting to do off camera, so I'll worry about that whenever we get to that bridge, whenever we get there, or whatever they say. But uh, anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. And as always, take care. I'll see y'all in the next episode.